Hey, what's up, peeps? Angel here. It's uh, Tuesday, November 15th, 2016, with another awesome and epic day out there. The weather, as always, has continued to be super epic. My goodness, I will keep saying this, but I wish just the entire year would be like this here. Uh, but being blessed with this weather, um, hopefully it just continues to be this way. You know, nice, chill, like air conditioning, but not so cold. Uh, what can I tell you about my day? Just a very wild one at work. Um, gotta do what I gotta do. But on top of that, I actually had to um, work on um, another assignment for one of my uh, classes is social studies. <clears throat> and, uh, or social, social science, it's like sociology or something like that. Because the, the, ch the chapter I'm doing is, is from social sciences and natural sciences my assignment that I actually had to do today and <clears throat> it's like seven big questions and the the reality was that when I checked last week the professor had assignment one for last Thursday which I did and assignment two for this Thursday and then assignment three for the 30th which I think if I'm not mistaken is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving and that was it Okay, because it goes from November till February, but for some reason, the professor changed it, and I'm like looking at it this morning. I was like, "What?" <laughs> so on my lunch time, I started driving with it, um, <clears throat> and it got really hectic for me. You know, sometimes when you get these things that just kind of turn all over around, it just turns your entire day off, and you feel stressed out and you feel with so much pressure and so much weight in your shoulders that it goes like that <clears throat> you know you know on, on another hand you know I just uh, I have schedule for the students to go tomorrow um, <clears throat> to a park in the area it's jumping and stuff like that and, and I know it has a cost on it but just trying to do some extra activities for them you know to to spend some time inside, have some fellowship, <clears throat> and unfortunately, most of them um, cannot come either for whatever reasons. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel that, and uh, probably the only student that was gonna come, I'm just gonna probably just <clears throat> hang with him. Um, he does music, so go hang out with them tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, but uh, you know. Things happen for a reason. It happens to all of us. Uh, we wake up and we don't know what the day is going to come for us. And twists and shouts and <clears throat> weights and everything can just happen. We can have good days. We can have bad days. Um, that's just how life is. It's We, we try to, to stick to a straight line and we get curves and bumps and falls in the day and that's just the way it is so for me it was just kind of like a very rocking uh day so my wife can tell you all about it she was asking what's going on with you i'm like just stressed out so i was able just uh for a few minutes because it's already a little bit past 10. Uh, i just came down because uh, i was able to uh, watch the uh 900 episode of smackdown and, and to say that <clears throat> the first episode was in August 26 of 1999 and I was on school by then it's amazing uh, I was even seeing the highlights of it was Triple H versus The Rock for the WWE Championship in, in the first ever Smackdown Shawn Michaels was the uh, special guest referee and The Rock had the match won and he switched music him and then uh, pin him and uh, Triple H won the match, but how crazy was that I actually watched that live in the 900 episode, and now they're already in 900, <clears throat> and it was very nice just to watch it all because I really wanted to see Undertaker back and see what he's going to do, so it looks like he's going to be back. I was thinking he was actually going to take like a full run from Survivor Series till um, WrestleMania. I guess that's not the case, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, I'm excited for that. Tickets go on sale for WrestleMania 33 this week. And I'll be there for sure. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. I was able to, to message the boys and 
it looks like it's going to be again go over the very I think we're going to have like six or seven so hopefully uh, thankfully <clears throat> we get good tickets um, we're looking at probably the first floor uh, this will be my third Wrestlemania I was in Orlando for the first one on the third floor second line uh, right in the middle and then I went to the one in Miami uh, 24 28 <clears throat> and I was on the second floor right by the ramp um, where the rock came and I was like right there looking at it. so this time I'm I really want to be a little bit closer so go probably to the first floor so might just be about five six seven of us so it should be it shall be fun so um, yeah guys um just a nice day today uh, probably gonna crash now but uh, um, still a little bad here with a cold but uh, it's, it looks like it's going away just uh, tooth hurting in here so um, but uh, yeah tomorrow just hang out with my boy and and uh, I hope you guys have a great night um, continue to light the fire and uh, you know if you if you guys go through rocks and through uh, side turns in a specific day you know uh, try to find something that's positive and to lift you up um, always look for something like that some people it might just be an empty box like me tonight uh, spending some time with the little with the kids and the baby but also getting into that empty box and just watching a little bit of wrestling that I enjoy um, it's always good to just find a spot that can actually just bring you up a little bit and uplift you it can be anything but uh, it's always good to just try that because if we stretch out and we continue to hear that path hey life is just gonna go this way and anything that goes internal actually takes takes a hold of us sooner or later so I exhort you guys I used to be a very internal person very internal person my mom can tell you all about it not telling anyone my problems or what happens and through life and finding Jesus I can tell you I'm more of an honest uh, you know I speak a lot now and I tell my problems and I look for help as well as I tell what I'm feeling most of the times so I love you guys continue to like the fire around you to those of you who watch and have not subscribed subscribe to my channel on YouTube and uh, we'll continue doing this and uh, wish me luck tomorrow love you guys have a great night be good be safe peace